Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode in my Lord of the Rings Online Bjorning Let's Play. And in this episode, we're going to be doing some further work in the Barrow Downs here. So we've got a couple different quests that we can take on. Let's go ahead and pull some of those up. And we'll just go ahead and unlock them so we can find stuff as we need to. Now, we've got a bunch of rats and stuff. We've got some more epic quest things to take care of. We have to collect stone fragments. Those are uh, basically here, and I don't remember exactly where they are, but I have a, a rough idea. I want to say they're where you see these blue thingies. So, all right. Away we go. I don't know why I'm running. I have a horse. I just thought of that. That was kind of silly of me. But I guess it's okay. We'll handle some of these critters and then I'll just jump on my horse. Actually, there's some rats and things here we can take care of. And we do have to do that for this quest, which is a rather annoying quest, actually. I think 24 is a bit excessive, but I mean they are all over the place, so it's never a super difficult quest or anything, it's just annoying. Okay, so we will jump on our Valiant Steed, and the first lore fragment should be at the entrance to this tomb right here. We'll dispose of this Barrow Crawler. And we'll take care of that. And then there is some stuff for us to gather. We might as well do that too, since we are going to need a fair amount of barrel iron so that I can level up my uh, mining again, my prospecting. I will do most of the crafting in this series between episodes, though the only crafting that I will actually show you, I think, will be the... Uh, um, like if I craft myself a new set of armor or something like that. Otherwise, crafting will be very long and boring and not fun to watch. And I don't want to show you the you guys the boring, grindy stuff for the most part. So we will continue on. Uh, looks like we didn't pick up any mobs there, which is good. The next little lore shard will be right over this way, if I remember correctly. And there are a couple other creepy crawlies around here. There's a bunch of mice up, or a bunch of rats up there, so we'll, uh... Oh, hey, I should probably get out my pick. There's a bunch of rats up here that we'll take on. That should give us about... F uh, I think I count four. Yeah. And we'll just fight all of them at once, because you know what? Why not? Why not? They're not strong. We'll even go into the bear form. And that takes care... Oh, I, I thought I got them all. Missed one. There we go. And then there's another one right up here. We'll deal with him as well. I'm surprised we haven't picked up any diseases at the moment, honestly. Not that I'm complaining, of course. And we'll grab this lore fragment right here. And... This barrel iron happens to have another field rat conveniently located right next to it. So we might as well dispose of that. And then we'll grab this. This is one of the weaker barrel crawlers, so we'll deal with this guy too. Because it's always good to go for the easy ones. Makes the quest go a little bit faster. There are two different uh, types of barrel crawlers here in the... Northern Barrow Downs. There's the slimy ones, which are the ones that I primarily want to be fighting. And then there's some other ones that have about twice as much morale or HP or whatever you want to call it. There we go. Okay. Now our last shard is over there. But we conveniently have the dead spire right here, so we might as well take care of that. And grab these little stone fragments that lie around it. I also see on my mini-map the 
White that runs around here and gives us another quest. So I'm going to run over here and talk to him. Where'd you go, White? You're hiding behind the rock, I think. There he is. The Wandering Shade. Not a white, actually. He's a shade, not a white. Dur -dur -dur. Okay. So we'll pick that quest up. And for that, we'll have to go find his barrel. I do know where it is, so that shouldn't be a problem. Let's jump on our horse. Uh, actually, let's grab this silver ore. Silver's rather hard to come by. If I can connect it collect enough of it I can sell it for a fair amount of gold okay so let's see we are here I believe this one is the shades burrow and then this is going to have us fighting this guy this barrel white slave bring it on not worried not afraid of you just build up some wrath and then we'll shift into bear form so we can bring him down a little quicker. There we go. Goodbye. So we got the shade's ring. We'll run back over here and talk to the shade again to turn it in. And then he gives us a new quest. To go defeat whites near the place where the barrows, where the brothers place the Cardolan treasure. If I remember correctly... That one's kind of over by where we have to go defeat the Craybane and its master. I may be incorrect on that, but we'll find out soon enough. We are going to come over here and grab the last lore fragment, which is right here. Hopefully we will... Eh, of course we'll get bothered by a Barrel White Warrior, but it looks like I did manage to grab the lore fragment in time, so that's a good thing. And there we go. That's the end of him. Now, onward we go to victory. We'll uh, get that out of the way so I can kind of see what I'm doing. Uh, and actually, I am... Whoa. I've got... This archer doesn't want to leave me alone. I'm sure I could have just run from him, but... You know, I don't take stuff from no one. At all. So I will just deal with him like so... And then we'll jump on the horse. Um, I only need four more rats and crawlers. So let's take care of some of these guys. Because then when I head up to handle some of these other quests, I can turn this one in too. And that's definitely the fastest way to do things is when you can turn in multiple quests at once. There's another creepy crawly right over here. And that's the end of him. And there's a rat over here. We can deal with the rat. As our last creepy crawly. There we go. Okay, so that's all taken care of. Now we get to run up towards that northwestern corner of the Barrow Downs. And turn all of these in and grab some more whites and whatnot. Hopefully that one will just leave us alone. And we are at level 17, so we should have level 18 here very shortly. I think after we turn in one more quest, we'll be good. And I've got a couple of different quests to turn in. Uh, let's not run down that way. We'll just kind of skirt the edge, I think. Because I need to go up this way for the Shades quest, the Wandering Shade, which is the Shield Brother quest that you see in my little quest log thing on the side. And he grabbed my silver, Jezebel, or whoever you are. Okay, so we will come up here and start killing some of these whites. I need to kill a total of six of them for this quest. And there's one. We need several more. I still don't have the quest for that. 
There's another white up here that I can take care of. And I believe some pop up when I uh, run on top of their tomb, so I'll probably do that to get the rest of them. Since this other player is handling my supply of whites. It's alright. There's one. And to the bear form, because bear form's always fun. You can never have enough bear. And it also gives me an opportunity to make terrible bear puns, like, they just can't bear anymore. Haha. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So we got two more whites to go. I believe another one will pop up right here. just try and finish this one off outside of the bear form so then when I run up here oh that's three of them okay that was um, unexpected I did not expect to see three of them let's just uh, kind of oh man I may actually need to pop some healing potions here in fact I do but I think I'll be all right. I think I can take the rest. I think I can take this last guy, uh, the last guy down before he takes me down. That was a little closer than I would have liked. I was not expecting three of them there. And we have some. We have one of them following me, but I'm just gonna run away from him. And we'll run over here and turn all these quests in, which should get us level 18 for sure, considering. I'm only a couple of mob kills away. Alright, so more quests to turn in. Yay, turning in quests. Yay, experience. Yay. Okay, so we will turn both of these in. That will get us some reputation with the men of Bree, as well as some lovely experience. We'll turn these in as well. There is... This quest here, Treasures of Cardolan, for searching the narrow, the uh, northern barrel for an ancient chest. That's the one that's right up here that I just tried to grab a minute ago. And also the one that got me killed last episode. So we're going to run over here quick and grab that so we can turn that one in right away. Because that's a nice, short, easy quest. And once that's done... Then we will continue on. Ooh, I got a new skill that I did not see there. Causes the staunchest enemies to run in fear. Ooh, fear skills are always good. Okay, let's make this guy run. While we deal with some of these other guys. Fear skills. How much wrath? Cost 10 wrath. Okay. Very nice. That's actually a pretty good skill. And it is another ranged skill. So tactical damage. Looks like this class is shaping up to have a nice variety of ranged tactical shout type skills or roars, I guess you would call them. And then melee skills, which is kind of nice. So we'll turn this in quick. That one is definitely better than what I've got at the moment. That is a quest for when we actually get into the Great Barrows. So I will be sure to use that. We will uh, learn ourselves another new Taylor recipe. And then we can get out of here, and it's time to head to the Southern Barrow Downs. Although there is yet one more quest to turn in up here in the Northern Barrow Downs. And that's this Wandering Shade quest as well. And I see him down there. Hello, Wandering Shade. We meet again. And then he gives us the quest to go defeat the Bone Man which is a quest in the Southern Barrow Downs. Kind of, if I remember correctly, it's kind of the southeastern corner. It's either that or the southwestern corner. I don't remember for sure. But, 
time to head to the south and go meet up with the rest of the guides who are kind of over this direction. And that'll give us a bunch more quests. This one I'm just going to go ahead and remove from my hotbar for now because I can't actually do it until we get into the Great Barrel and that doesn't unlock until the, until about level 20 or so. But here is Dead Man's Perch with the other guides. How we will pick up service? all of these Why quests. Why to take a moment of your time? Why to take a moment of your time? Can I speak with you a moment? I'm sorry to trouble you, but will you help me? Including would these bounty quests. Those bounty quests you would can you do a total of three times, and they are a Might great I source a of experience, I must say. But now that we're here at the southern outpost at Dead Man's Perch with the other guides, I am going to go ahead and end the episode right here, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, or leave me a comment. I really do appreciate it. You can also find me on Twitter and Facebook. There will be links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.